Good afternoon, beautiful love bugs. Good afternoon, beautiful love bugs. I'm divinely destined. Welcome back to another video. Happy birthday, beautiful love bugs. Celebrating your birthdays today. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, drinking your water, staying hydrated, collective. I have a general collective message read. Please remember, remember to take the message how it resonates. Take it out, resonates, honey. Yeah, don't try to make a reading fit. Take what you need and leave the rest. The message will be timeless. It's going to be timeless. Whenever you see it, whenever you see it, uh, is when you're supposed to see it, okay? You've caught the eye of someone here. Okay, I'm hearing that. You caught my eye. Mm -hmm. You may catch the eye of many, many different people, okay? Yeah. Make sure you uh, guard your heart and guard your loins okay but just because you caught their eye don't mean they're deserving okay collective so let's see what's going on here you may be a taurus here april april taurus yeah mm -hmm. you could be a mother a father here you may be meant to be you could be married you may be meant to be you could be well loved you're meant to be you may not feel you may not feel like anyone loves you, but you're well loved. God loves you. Period. And if God be for you, who could be against you? Okay? Remember that. You may not be feeling the love today. The five of pentacles, the ace of cups with the nine of swords. What's going on here? What is going on? You could be struggling financially. Uh, you could be homeless today. Uh, facing financial hardships and difficulties at this time. You're a love being. You got a lot of love to give. And you feel like things may not, uh, things are just not fair, okay? Things things just ain't fair, and life ain't fair. We're being called to uh, trust God, trust Him. You may be getting ready to get a new apartment, house, uh, a room, okay, hotel, pretty soon. Hang in there. Yep. Yeah. I see the sun energy here. You could be a single mother here uh, that could be living in a shelter or you're staying with some relatives at this time. Or you have some experience with homelessness, okay? Financial instability, housing instability, okay? It's, it's, it's something you have, you have knowledge on and experience with. Take the message how it resonates. Your angels are, are with you. Your angels are with you, period. Mm. Yeah, I see a very confident individual here. You don't look like what you've been through, okay? You don't, you don't. Wow. Look at the Five of Wands. You're being protected here by archangels, guardian angels, by God. Okay, I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you're located at physically today. But just understand that God is keeping you safe. He's keeping you safe. It's something about the new day, okay? Yeah, yeah. You could definitely get money, housing, assistance before the end of the new day. So maybe tomorrow, okay, our Heavenly Father, uh, he sends someone in. He sends someone in. Okay, I'm hearing, come on in. You could be getting ready to be interviewed or have some sort of meeting here uh, with, with, with some people that could be of an assistance to you that could assist you here, period. I'm hearing before like 4 p.m., you may be uh, in housing, getting some sort of assistance assistance to get into housing the energy is here period mm. yeah you're earth angel here wow wow you're being called to hold on see you must be strong things are gonna be okay you're being called to persevere and hang in there and move forward stay consistent you uh stay focused on 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 making things better for yourself and trusting God to take care of you. Yeah, you may move around a lot too. That energy is here. It may be a lot of conflict where you're located or you may be going through a lot of conflict or because of a uh, or because of a situation that was full of conflict, you've had to move around a lot. You may not trust people or you don't feel uh any any sign of you not feeling safe or well you move or you relocate or you think you think about it at the very least period mm, there's an offer here i'm telling you wow you definitely could be at a shelter you may have stayed at a shelter before you may have lived with your parents your relatives 
friends before. You know what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, the Ten of Wands with the Tower. You may have gotten evicted from your place, kicked out, dealt with a lot of um, sadness, okay? A lot of grief. A lot of moving around is here. A lot of betrayal is here. It's here. It's here. Like, people that you trust. Okay, I'm picking up on the energy. People that you trust or people that you thought were cool or the people that you entrusted to help you to assist you hurt you they betrayed you they didn't follow through it was a bunch of bs a bunch of lies that ultimately was the end result remember to take the message how it resonates period you could be divorced you could have two children here okay you went through a period of uh, financial instability. You could be currently going through financial instability at this time. You went through a period of uh, poverty, moving around quite a lot. Very likely, very possible. Remember to take the message how it resonates. You went through a period of heavy betrayal, heavy conflict, heavy blockages, heavy obstacles. Uh, yeah, you may, uh, may resonate with that. You may have also, you may have been through a bad breakup or a divorce and it, it kind of threw you off okay yeah you may have been married between 10 and 20 years here and you you lost it all or you couldn't you went through a period or a phase after a after a major breakup or divorce in which you face financial hardship the energy is here yeah you may be 44 years old you may be a virgo 44 year old virgo male 54 year old Virgo male, 59 year old Virgo male. Okay? The Virgo male could be someone that uh, you entrusted to help you. Okay? They snaked you. Take the message how it resonates. Mm. It's something about being in shelters, uh, living with people, being on the street here. You may be in Brooklyn. You may like Mozart. Take the message how it resonates. But I see the energy here. This could also indicate that someone wants you to be homeless. There's been an ongoing battle because somebody wants you to be homeless. They want you to lose your, 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 your security. They want you to face financial instability. And they want you to face hardships in life. They want to cause chaos and conflict. They want to. This could be why you are facing uh, certain financial hardships and financial instabilities at this time it's very likely that somebody wants that for you and they have set their hearts upon making it their mission to see you be uh financially ruined it's like it's like somebody wants you to hit rock bottom here okay you could have hit rock bottom because of some sort of attack that someone launched launched against you here yeah they came at you pretty heavy with the knight of swords yeah, this could be a narcissist ex of yours. His name is Chris. He's 65 years old, perhaps. This could be you and your parents, too. Your father in particular. Okay? You've been having to make it without his support. His money. Okay? It's been hard. He cut you off. Take the message how it resonates. You don't want to do your children how your parents did you. Okay? Yeah. You don't want to go down the same path that they went down, perhaps. Yes, you're going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. You may have been displaced due to a natural disaster. Okay, you've been struggling to get on your feet ever since. That energy is here too, period. You may be 26 years old. Your name may be Kathy. You may like the comedian Kathy. Uh, is it Kathy? I'm, I'm picking up on Kathy Bates. Does she have a birthday today? Phenomenal actress. Happy birthday, Cancer, celebrating your birthdays today. We're rapidly approaching Leo season. We're rapidly approaching the full moon. We are rapidly approaching Mercury retrograde. I believe Jupiter is retrograde. Uh, Saturn, I believe Saturn is retrograde here. I'm picking up on a movie, The Terminator. Okay. Hmm. This feels like somebody that says, I'll be back. Okay. They set their heart out to be vengeful and revengeful towards you you could have left this person behind hey you could have just for whatever reason the situation with them didn't work out 
this person has been behind the scenes perhaps uh, trying to sabotage your life here this person is trying I hear readers speak about it you know but I don't really pick up on it a lot to this extent in my messages where someone literally wants you to be homeless okay or due to some sort of continuous continual attacks on your finances you you became homeless or that is their intent they are a narcissist the six of wands lets me know it they are premeditated with the two of wands they work with other people to send these attacks at you okay yeah this feels like somebody that could have uh some sort of pull power resources here and they have, they have been abusing that they have been abusing the system here. It's like they want you to feel ostracized, blackballed, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm picking up on the actor Terry Crews. He may be your favorite actor. You may want to go research him. I'm channeling him pretty heavy at this time. Okay, he may have a story that could be resonatable for you or similar to you. Everybody got a story, baby. Everybody. Everybody. Mm-hmm. The weapons may form, but they won't prosper. I'm hearing the, there's something about the book of Isaiah. Okay, you may need to go read the book of Isaiah. Okay, the energy is here. Okay. It's like somebody, yeah, this feels like someone intentionally doesn't want you to feel like you uh, have a way out here. It's just very, very obvious. Perhaps you, perhaps you struggled after a period of being in jail or institutionalized, okay, for whatever reason. And you've been struggling to get back on your feet. Okay, that energy is here too. This heavy energy today. You may be 42 years, 42 years old, 26 years old, 24 years old, 40, 46 years old, 56 years old, 54 years old, 25 years old. You may have grew up. You may have. You may have. You may grew. You may have grew up rough. Okay. Yeah. You've seen your mama go through some things. You've seen your father go through some things. You've been in a foster care system. You've been through poverty. You've been through homelessness. You've been through some stuff here. Okay? There's a lot here. Just remember to take what you need from the message. Take what you need from the message and leave the rest. Don't upset yourself. Don't get triggered. Just take what you, take what you need from this particular message. Okay? Your name may be Chad. Okay? I'm hearing the name Chad. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like when when certain when some when some people get out of jail, you know, it's hard, especially when they do long bids, eight years, ten years, twenty years. They don't know where to go, uh, how to rebuild their life. That energy is here. Okay. Take the message how it resonates. It's kind of like somebody wants you to face unimaginable hardship here. Not only does somebody want you to face unimaginable hardships, you actually have already faced unimaginable hardships. Okay, unimaginable hardships, that's not nothing new to you. Take the message how it resonates. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. You may be 31 years old. I see the high priestess energy. Okay, be careful who you trust. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing it very, very clear. You could be living in a hotel currently. It's kind of like, um, is it like a weekly pay here, buy here, pay here weekly? You may pay by the day, you may pay by the week, you may pay by the month in a hotel or a motel, okay? Or you, you have experience with that. There are some people that you should definitely be a careful, okay? Don't trust. I'm here and watch your surroundings. Just facts, it's just facts. You may be a cancer man, cancer woman. Period. Your birthday may be uh, July the 9th, July the 6th, July the 8th, July the 16th, July the 7th, 17th. Happy birthday, Cancers, once again, celebrating your birthdays today. Don't be so quick to accept their apology. Or don't be so quick to believe that they're actually sorry. Especially if you know it's somebody that set their intentions to see you be ruined. Okay? Not saying that you can't accept their apology or listen to them apologize but listen to your intuition too listen to your own intuition about it period this could be an enemy that's homeless today it's their fate it's what they manifested for themselves they try to make you homeless
They try to make you go through unimaginable hardships. They, they wanted your destiny. They wanted your path. Okay, well, okay, your path came with unimaginable hardships and great trials and tribulations. But they wanted your path. They wanted it so damn bad. Now they're homeless. Now they're facing uh, danger all around them as they try to find somewhere safe to lay their head at tonight. That's what they wanted for you, collective. Now they're experiencing it. And it's not so fun. You could be sleeping out of your car, or you've has you have some experience with sleeping in your car. You could have an enemy that's sleeping in a car tonight, okay? They could be uh, catching a city bus, okay, whenever they can. They're very sneaky still. You see the Seven of Swords? It's a reason why they're homeless. It's a reason why they uh, have lost it all. Damn. I see the number 77. 77 always correlates with the number five. Okay, so this person went in the spirit here. Very likely. Confirmation. They could have been doing some spells here. Setting some dark intentions for certain people in the collective. Okay. And they're facing karma. Okay. Be careful who you do because karma comes back around. Yeah. Yeah. This person was so sure that it wouldn't happen to him. She was so sure it wouldn't happen to her. Mm-hmm. They had gotten so used to being sneaky, deceptive, okay? Not seeing, uh, you know, perhaps God let this person get away with a lot of stuff here, okay? Yeah, the tables have turned, okay? It's time to pay up. This person could literally... This person could literally be sleeping on the sidewalk, okay? Sleeping behind bushes, dumpsters, anywhere they could lay their head. Abandoned uh, buildings, okay? This is what they wanted for you. They wanted this for you. They wanted you to be homeless. They wanted you to be outcast, ostracized, in exile, okay? They didn't just want that for you. They did things in the background to cause you to take financial losses, Okay? You could have literally lost your house, your apartment, your financial stability to maintain your housing. That is no joke. That is no joke. I see 7-7. Seven, seven. So there's a tower here. Whenever you see 7-7, seven, seven, there's going to be a tower. Okay, the tower is going to hit. The tower may have already hit this person, man. They may have gotten evicted. They lost their financial stability. Okay, they abused their authority and their position and their resources. Okay. Mm hmm. Confirmation. Oh, they're the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So we saw last week, okay, the King of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody that'll do anything for money. At this point, they probably would do anything for money. Okay, this person lost it all, perhaps. The King of Pentacles in the reverse, they went broke. Okay, they abused their position here, big time. And they lost it all. They're losing it all. They're afraid they're going to lose it all. They're panicking because they are starting to lose it all. Okay, this 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 is the enemy. This is the collective's enemies. Okay? My goodness. Mm -hmm. They're looking for money here. They're looking for a payout. They're looking for information about money here. Okay? This could be your money. <laughs> Money they stole from you. Opportunities to make some money they stole from you. Or the intention that they had to take the opportunity from you so you can't make the money. Yeah. That's why they outside today. That's why the possibility of them being homeless is real today. Okay? Period. You could be homeless with two children. Or the intent was to have you homeless with your children. With your children here. Yeah, you could be a Virgo here. Wow. This person is coveting something that belongs to you. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles is a hardworking individual that's self-sufficient. They're independent. She got them coins on her own. He got them coins on his own. He put that work in. You see that crop? She grew that crop. Okay. 
she grew that crop it wasn't easy look at her face she looks tired she looks exhausted but she's there with her crop she grew her crop okay this person wants that okay this person may have stolen from you they may have stolen the property they may have property in your name this person could have stolen your identity okay they had their they had their eyes set on on, on your crop your blessings your storehouse you may like grapes okay you may you may grow your own fruits and vegetables here this lady is her garden is her garden is is flourishing is thriving here but look at look at her face look at the expression on her face it wasn't easy she's tired but she's out there man she still has to do the work to ensure that the, the crop comes in and, and it's bountiful okay period and meanwhile you have an enemy here that's been trying to make you lose it all here because they want it for themselves it's very likely take the message how it resonates you may like Italian food you may be 39 years old and rice and Christopher may be your favorite author yes wow I see the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups you could be married today okay congratulations congratulations you and your husband you and your wife you guys could be struggling financially you could be going through whatever you're going through that's your business talk to god okay talk to god you may be meant to meet, be married here mm -hmm. you're meant to be you're meant to have three kids you may have three or more children here you're meant to take the message how it resonates yeah you're meant to have a gifted child with a certain individual i feel like this certain individual could be a soulmate okay period they are logical okay this 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 man here this divine masculine this divine man okay he's logical okay he's intelligent he's a lifelong survivalist okay he don't play he's serious okay period he's focused he's driven he's ambitious okay you could be with him already you could have uh, somebody that's been trying to block this do you see the energies the ancestors don't want you to be ignorant or unaware as to what's going on out here. Period. You definitely could be divorced. The queen and the king of swords is a divorced couple. Divorced couple. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So I see the queen of swords, the king of swords, and the queen of cups and the king of cups you're meant to be married to a substantial individual okay they have powerful uh ancestors you have powerful ancestors this could be a this could be a soulmate here for sure okay yeah strong soulmate connection leo season 2023 2024 2025 2026 leo season could be significant take the message how it resonates period there are some people uh on 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 this divine masculine's this divine man okay this divine masculine's end there are some people on his end that are not happy here they're not happy okay perhaps he's divorced he got a divorce he's divorced she's divorced there's some sort of uh battle going on ongoing battle or at some point there was a battle okay you know how they go divorce the breakups all that okay that's here go study soulmates go study uh twin flames if you have some time today Looks like your twin flame is divorced here, okay? Mm-hmm. Could be a custody battle, a bitter divorce. Uh, there could have been some betrayal, uh, some spell work done in this particular situation as well, okay? The energy is here. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I see that uh, your divine masculine, your divine man, he's healing period yeah he's divorced here mm-hmm wow he may have some relatives uh, that don't like him okay don't want to see him do well don't want him see don't want him to uh, see his kids don't want him, don't want him to be well out here okay he may also have an ex-wife that has some family members that's uh, been maliciously targeting him okay trying to make him lose it all trying to make him go broke trying to keep him from seeing his children you know the energy trying to make his life a living hell the energy is here mm. wow he could be waiting for a divorce to be finalized okay 
or the divorce has been finalized. Perhaps five months, five, six months, five years, six years, okay? He's been divorced here, okay? Your divine masculine could be a female, okay? Your soulmate, they could be a female. Take the message how it resonates. Yeah, there was some dark work here. The number 56 lets me know it. There's a divorce. The justice energy backs me. The moon energy is saying, hell yeah, there was some spell work done here. The moon next to the devil. Yeah, somebody tried to destroy your divine man here. Perhaps his finances. They really, really, really heavily targeted, targeted him in that area. Okay, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. There's the ex-wife. She's the queen of pentacles here with the ten of cups they could have two children together period there's heavy manipulation possibly a lot of dark work done here on on a divine masculine the energies don't lie a divine man honey yeah by a former partner love interest spouse okay period she could even have one of her lovers attacking him the energy is here she could be paying people witches warlocks okay let's see what else is going on here Okay, try to stay, try to, try to, try to get through it, collective. Try to get through it. Man, this stuff is so sad. I'm hearing Charlie. Charlie, try to get through it, okay? Get through it the best way you can. Just stay prayed up, okay? Stay prayed up. Some of these people are losing it all, man. Or the thought of losing it all has them, like, freaking out and panicking, okay? Divine Masculine, he went through some stuff here, okay? Divine Feminine, she's been through some stuff. They're going through... Uh, they've been through some stuff that would, would make you really, really scratch your head and go, wow, you went through that? Yeah. She went through that. He went through that. The justice energy again. Wow. With the hermit. The ten of wands. Your divine masculine went through some stuff that is unimaginable. Divine feminine been through some stuff that is unimaginable. Unimaginable. I see the Ten of Wands with the Two of Wands. It looks like moving forward. Make no mistake about it. These people are not going to stop. Okay? Or or their karma. Okay? It's not going to stop. Okay? They're not going to get into housing no time soon. They're not going to get a reprieve anytime soon. Okay? Or at the very least, that's what they're thinking. My goodness. I'm going to lose it all. I'm going to be homeless. There's just no way that I'm going to be able to pay this this light bill. I have no way to pay the rent, okay? That type of energy. Mm. It looks like Divine Masculine could have an ex uh, that has a family. Uh, she's heavily involved her family uh, into into trying to, in, in, in an attempt to bring about ruin to him. Remember, to take the message how it was and needs. Okay? Mm -hmm. But be careful who you do because karma comes back around. Remember that. Yep, it comes back around. There are still shady, shady, and there are still shady ass uh, people here, sneaky ass people here, deceptive ass people here. It's just what it is. God will deal with them. God is dealing with them. He's dealing with them. Wow. You're like a treasure here, or you're like a hidden gem. For your soulmate here, for your twin flame here. They're like a hidden gem for you. That's what I see here. Period. You're like a treasure. You are a treasure. They are a treasure. Yeah, so there's heavy interference here uh, regarding a connection that's destined to be. You know the energy. People are still trying to block this. That's what the high priestess is letting me know. They're still setting their intentions. Okay? To cause problems okay to cause blockages to cause harm to cause hurts yeah that's what they're doing to cause endings so you are actively being betrayed currently actively somebody still got it in their mind they still got it in their head okay i want her to be homeless I want him to be jobless. I want him to be overwhelmed. I don't want him to get up. I want him to be down. I want her to be broke. I want him to be broken. They still have it in their mind. Okay, they, they are still actively uh, doing things in the background to cause it. Cause delays, obstacles, challenges, hardships. Okay, so some people, some of these people are still actively doing things in the background collective. They are. The energies don't lie. Period. Look, the devil, the four of swords with the musician and the king of cups 
So there's a dark masculine here that's trying to cause catastrophic endings for a divine feminine here, specifically while she's sleeping. He could have been doing heart attack spells. Okay, sending a lot, sending a lot of negative energy towards your heart area. Okay, that's the energy. You're an earth angel. You don't deserve it. There's nothing that justifies uh, this behavior. Yeah, it's definitely a masculine energy with the Ace of Wands. This could be your ex, Divine Feminine. Okay, he betrayed you. She betrayed you, Divine Masculine. Period. This person wants you to beg them, or at some point, uh, this person had, they, they have a big ego. Okay, they have a superiority complex. This person wants you to come crawling back, or at some point, they wanted you to come crawling back begging for this person's... Uh, to come back to you, okay? Re-interest into your life. At some point, they wanted you to come crawling back to their ass. Perhaps this person tried to make you lose it all so you would have no choice but to come crawling back. I'm pretty sure if this was the last person on the damn planet, you wouldn't call them. You wouldn't call her, okay? This person is uh, really, really sadistic here. Really, really twisted, okay? I see the Eight of Wands. He could be currently still working with a witch today behind the scenes to get you to call to get you to call him or to get you to uh, take some sort of loss in some way or another this could be a female too divine masculine take the message how it resonates okay let's go ahead and close it out stay in love collective stay in love okay love is the great love is the great equalizer here okay mm -hmm. you operate in love and light they operate in darkness it looks like they get some sort of fulfillment and joy out of seeing something go wrong for you forgive your enemies they lack empathy mm -hmm. wow they should have been appreciative of you here period but, but instead they set about their hearts to cause you to take major losses and have great great hardships here they set that as a part they set their heart upon doing that okay that became their mission to make you lose or take a loss or to become a failure or to fail at something. That became their mission. Okay? That's, there's a stubborn warlock here. There's a stubborn witch here. And you know what God says about those people. Okay? Period. Some of these people were your friends. Okay? There are certain uh, relationships and friendships uh, that they intentionally set their hearts to destroy. And perhaps they were successful. Okay, they're guilty. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. You could be a, a correction officer here. Okay, mm -hmm. you could work for FEMA. Yeah, you may work. Uh, I'm here in Aquatica, so you may work with more, uh, sea marine animals. Okay, orcas, dolphins. Okay, sea life, seals. Yeah, you may be very funny as well. It looks like you got somebody here that thought it just was funny to do this to you. Okay, I'm telling you, they're, they're, they're a socio, sociopath, narcissist. Okay, some ain't right. Something ain't right with them. They took pride. They take pride. Okay, they think it's it's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. They try to cause this divine masculine to fall and stumble in life. And that is to their detriment because God will get you. He will get you about that. Have no doubt about it. Yeah, there's a female energy here. There's a female that's connected to a divine masculine that is facing some sort of health crisis tonight. Could be financial health crisis. She could be homeless today. She could have this great fear uh, that she will be. She let her envy uh, drive her here in life, and that was to her detriment. Okay, period. Her self-esteem is terribly low here. People with low self-esteem, they will cheat they will lie. They will do a lot of bad things. Okay. Wow. This person, this female could have took a jab at you, Divine Feminine, because of her low self-esteem. She wanted to disturb your peace because she's disturbed and she doesn't have any peace. This could be a feminine energy here that has a connection to your Divine Masculine. This could be a feminine energy that has a connection to your ex, Divine Feminine. It could be different people. Take the message how it resonates period it looks like this female here this karmic feminine energy just cannot conceive you being with with this divine masculine okay she said about ruining this connection this could be a karmic masculine okay she could have she could have 
uh, broke up this connection that you had with a karmic masculine. Okay, she destroyed that connection. Okay, she could be trying to destroy your twin flame connection too. Period. She could definitely be homeless today. And, you know, that's just the way it is. This feels like your ex, Divine Feminine. Your ex, Divine Masculine. Mm-hmm. They've been in the background trying to sabotage you in some way or another. Causing a lot of adversities. These are stubborn, stubborn witches, stubborn warlocks, stubborn individuals. Stubborn, dark, masculine energies. Stubborn, dark, feminine energies. They're under judgment. They can't imagine the terror and the pain that's coming their way. Okay? They're stubborn. They refuse to listen to reason. They refuse to go within and heal. They're going to regret it. There's a karmic feminine that could be in a hospital today, sick. Okay? Or she has great fear that that could be a part of her consequence. Okay? Being sick, shut in. Okay? That energy is here. Not only did a karmic feminine try to ruin uh, one connection... She tried to ruin another one for you, too. It looks like two connections she's tried to ruin. Okay, Divine Masculine. looks like uh, this feminine karmic energy tried to ruin two of your connections. Could be more. Okay, she tried to ruin it. That's what I see here. Period. Yeah, she's facing endings. The number nine lets me know. The number two lets me know it's a female. Okay, the number four says, yeah, there's a specific feminine, karmic feminine, that's facing endings tonight. Is spiritual with the number seven. Yeah, her, the number four. Somebody from Divine Masculine's past. Somebody from Divine Feminine's past. Somebody that has a connection with somebody from your past, perhaps. Divine Collective. They're guilty. Yeah, two people. This could be a couple. This could be somebody uh, your ex chose over you. They've been behind the scenes trying to destroy you, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, you divorced her. Her and her boyfriend started trying to destroy you, perhaps. Okay, they're guilty. Mm -hmm. She's facing endings. Make no make make no mistake about it. Okay, divine feminine, you you may you may like to cook pancakes. It's something that's ended out in the spirit for her. Period. I see seven 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 seven. I just said it opening up this message or a few minutes into the message. I spoke about seven seven. Always correlates and breaks down to the number five, and we see the number five here. So there's changes going on currently, spiritual changes going on for a dark feminine energy that decided to raise hell against you, divine masculine, against you, divine feminine, period. She played a lot of games, and that was to her detriment. He played a lot of games, that was to his detriment, okay? Mm-hmm, divine feminine, mm-hmm, divine masculine. You see, divine feminine, you could be 36 years old somebody from your past divine feminine somebody from your past divine masculine okay there's specific karmic feminine there's a specific karmic masculine they're get, they're getting called out today they could be in jail there could be a karmic masculine that could be in jail okay facing heavy restrictions okay it's just it's just what it is period spiritual restrictions with the number seven the number four says hell they could be going to hell the number 47 is saying, yeah, hey, look, there's a specific person uh, that's uh, under some sort of spiritual judgment tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They could be in purgatory or some sort of spiritual confinement, something going on with them spiritually. And it's nothing you can do. It's nothing. It's nothing you did. OK, it's nothing you could have done to prevent it. You just you just ran into an asshole. OK, you encountered a very dark, dangerous person. Okay, at some point, take the message how it resonates. Okay, mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So it's, it, it feels like, uh, it feels like there's a karmic masculine, there's a karmic feminine uh, that lost out on some sort of contract that they could have had with you. Okay, they fumbled the bag. They, they lost, this, this could also indicate that they, um, certain opportunities and certain blessings and certain things that they were meant to have, uh, they may not get now, okay? It may be difficult to get now. They may have condemned themselves to the point where they won't get them, okay? They blocked their own blessings here. They have been located. God knows exactly who they are. 
God knows the games they've been playing. They've been doing spells here. God is aware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see the number 54. This person or these type of energies may have been problematic towards you. I see between four and six years here. Okay. They fell into the trap. Uh, I'm picking up I'm picking up on a movie get out okay that guy he was hypnotized by that lady in that movie there was def there was definitely heavy manipulation and spell work done here okay period mm-hmm he survived in that movie by the way yeah just like you're gonna survive just like you survived this these this karmic feminine she may not have five dollars to her name fifty dollars to her name thirty dollars to her name she may have went broke okay this is what they did to themselves they did it to themselves uh-huh I see the number five I see the number four and I see the number six wow hmm so there's a specific uh, feminine energy specific masculine energy that's uh, under judgment okay they're going through some sort of uh repu re reprimanded they got reprimanded there's consequences to our actions for sure okay let's go ahead and close it out collective if you guys want to book me i am available take it easy go go easy on yourself you've been through some things especially if you're resonating with this particular message if you're facing a housing housing crisis tonight okay just understand that god is aware okay he's not gonna leave you nor forsake you he hasn't turned his back on you. He still loves you. He will always love you. And he's going to provide for you. Okay. Just trust that. Trust that he's going to provide for you. Okay. You may have. You have. You you got some regrets about meeting. Meeting certain people. Okay. You do. I mean. Who wouldn't after going through some of the things that you went through. You could have an enemy that's unconscious in the hospital at this particular time. Okay. Yeah. They did it to themselves. Virgo season could be significant collective. You may have your sixth house in Aries. Go study your birth charts. Period. There is a radical here that made things very, very difficult for you here. Okay. This could be a cancer man. They could have their, their this could be a cancer woman. They could have their eighth house in cancer. So this, the eighth house always represents passion and love and sex. This could be somebody that is a knight of wands. I'm trying to tell you, your ex, divine feminine, your ex, divine masculine. Okay, somebody that was inconsistent, somebody that was unfaithful, somebody that took bold actions and bold steps uh, regarding you. Okay, they took the bold step to be a nemesis. Okay, that was that was bold. Okay, they 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 jumped, they jumped, they jumped, they jumped off the ledge. Okay, that was a bold last thing to do. Okay, mm hmm. Could be a Sagittarius man, Sagittarius woman. They're under judgment tonight. It's all about your material possessions and your money here. This person was, or these type of people certainly have targeted cert certain individuals in the collective for financial reasons. Period. You're in the spotlight. You're well known. You're well loved. God loves you. These people are in the darkness. Okay. They operate uh, in, a, in, in utilizing darker means and darker things. And they seek wow these people need healing some of these people were set on the divine feminines and divine masculine's path to heal them okay to get redemption to see that people are genuine people are still here okay they take these opportunities and they crap on the very people that god sent in to help them yeah the very one that was sent in to love and to care or at the very least show compassion and kindness is the very one that got crapped on here you could be the one here that got crapped on by somebody that uh, God sent you in to help or assist or just to be a friendly face. Okay. Yep. That's what I see here. Mm -hmm. You could be 38 years old. You may like the singer Marcus Houston. Now, he's a Leo man. Leo energy is here. We are rapidly approaching Leo season. You may not see this video until Leo season. Okay, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you have a fantastic day. Try not to stress too much, collective. God got you.